So the kids were playing outside and Vincent had a collision with Rex, Rex our little puppy St. Bernard. That's no puppy anymore. <laughs> and let me see, your, your nose is bleeding too a little bit. Aww. So he has a fat lip and a bloody nose. up so today I have an important question to ask the kids Ray yeah? what is pozole um, is that a Spanish word can you tell me what it means in English just answer the question um, <laughs> you give me the clue you say <laughs> tap clue it's a, a meal like a meal you would eat like a dinner meal or something a dinner meal Hmm. Right. Oh, Trusting. What is pozole? Pozole. Um, I think it's a kind of food. Fart. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not fart. <laughs> All right, Vincent. What is pozole? Mexican dish. A Mexican dish? <laughs> Oliver, what is pozole? A Mexican mm. dish. Mexican? Uh, Mexican <laughs> food? Yeah. You wow. guys are so smart. What are those? Yeah. It's Mexican dish? Dinner? It's, it's a meal that we're going to be cooking tonight. And I will explain a little bit more on the details on that. What is it? What it is, our culture, how we came to be. Um, and we'll eat it today. Uh, obviously, not the traditional way that it was developed originally. Trust it's, me. It, yeah, trust us. You don't want to eat it in the traditional way that it was originally de developed. Uh -huh. So we're going to eat it how we adopted it. And it, it uses pork. So we're going to try that. And I think you guys will enjoy it. I cannot wait. So we need to go to the grocery store. I need to make, first before we go to the grocery store, I need to make a phone call to my mom. And uh, and I, I know how to make pozole a little bit. Um, so I just need to get a, a, a refined recipe from what I know. Um, so we're gonna call, yeah, I'm gonna call my mom. I'm gonna call my mom and ask her to see if she can uh, give me the recipe or remind me of the recipe, so. That way we can go to the grocery stores, get the ingredients, and tonight we are making pozole and we'll talk mm -hmm. a little bit about it, how it, it became to be what it is now. Yep, let's see if we can get the recipe for the pozole. Bueno? Ay, ama, buenos dias. Buenos dias, como estas, mijo? Bien, y ustedes? Sí, ya, bebé. Está ya va de salida, gracias a Dios. Ay, qué bueno. Una pregunta, ama, nomás quería este, preguntarle de si me pudiera recordar de cómo hacer el pozole. Tengo lo, una idea de cómo se hace, pero no recuerdo muy bien los ingredientes. Sí, ahorita lo vamos a, vamos a ir a hacer. Ok, mamá, muchas gracias, pues. No, de nada, mijo. Ay, saludos. Nada, saludos para todos. Bien, Adiós. Gracias, pues. Adiós. Este es el problema de pedir recetas a mi mamá de que todo es más o menos a, a cómo se siente. Eh, prueba el, el, el pozole para ver cuánta sal necesita, si necesita más se le pone más. Um, I'm still talking Spanish. Anyway, so what I'm saying, this is the problem with getting the recipe for my mom. Um, you ask her for the recipe and she tells you to add, you know, uh, a little bit of salt and then add more depending on when you taste it. That way see how it's, t it's tasting and if it needs more salt, then you add more salt. Um, so everything is pretty much a guessing thing, the ingredients, there's no set measurements. She tried to give me a measurement, she says like, it's probably like uh, an eighth of a cup. I, you know, it was questionable. She says, I just put it in my hand and throw a little bit there. So it's, uh, it's a guessing thing. It's what feels right uh, cooking anyway. So um, I got a general idea of how to make this stuff. Uh, I just wanted to make sure of the peppers. I wasn't sure which ones that I'm supposed to use. So I'm gonna go to the store and get some of these ingredients and and uh, we'll uh, we'll make some pozole.
when you're younger, dad gave me a trust in uh, radish. And yeah. dad asked us how it tastes. I'm like, I don't like it. And Tristan's was like, mmm, pretty good. <laughs> All right, we are back from the grocery store, and holy cow, was it freaking busy! I keep forgetting that the first and the fifteenth of the month is when everybody decides to go grocery shopping. It was a madhouse. I cannot stand it. Oh! Anyway, we're back home. We got our pork butt or shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> pork butt. It is a pork. See, it says pork butt roast or pork shoulder. Either Wait, way. Is it a pork? Is it really a butt? <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. So we got the big pot. We're going to put it in there. We're going to start making dinner. It's probably going to be late, but it's still going to be good. So the kids were playing outside, and Vincent had a collision with. Rex, our little puppy St. Bernard. Yeah, it's not puppy anymore. <laughs> and let me see your your nose is bleeding too a little bit. Uh -huh. So he has a fat lip and a bloody nose. Who won, Vincent? Rex. Rex won? Yeah. yeah. He's got about a hundred pounds on you. Yeah, so, yeah. he like took me down. He took you down too? What good guess uh. what? Growing up, eating pozole was something that you would eat on New Year's, Christmas, or like a wedding, or a baptism, or special birthdays. Yeah, it's a very special dish. That's exactly it. Okay? Uh, so that's how I grew up. Right? Whenever there was something special, we eat pozole. Okay? Um, do, you, do you eat it when, when it's your birthday? No, not anymore. We used to. Growing up, that's what we did. Um, also, though, but this goes way back before I was born, before my parents were born, before their parents were born, back to the uh, time frame of the uh, Aztecs. Oh, what's sorry, Aztecs? The Aztec warriors. This is the tribe of uh, indigenous people that can they lived in Mexico a long time ago. Okay, so they would make pozole. So they have different, they have beliefs, you know, just like any other culture, they have their own beliefs. But the Aztecs, they had a sacred meal, and this was one of them, right here, the pozole, okay? So what they would do also, they would also believe in human sacrifice. So whenever they had prisoners, they would create a human sacrifice. So what they would do is, they would pull their hearts out, and then, after they pull their hearts out, they would chop the bodies up of the person that remained and put it into pozole. So they would have human meat. The cannibals. This. Yeah, somewhat. So then they would use this stew of human flesh and... and, and uh, so what do you guys think about that? They used human in this food? Ew! So they would use human meat after they had human sacrifices. And then they would distribute this stew or, or you know soup amongst the whole community uh, as a religious communion type of communion. So this was a sacred meal for them. We've evolved since then. We don't longer use human flesh, at least not us <laughs> anyway. We're not but uh, so what we do is we use pork. And still, the tradition in Mexico growing up for me was that exact same thing. It was very, uh, it's traditional, and it was very um, uh, special. Only on special occasions we would do this. Like I said, like New Year's, and then our birthdays or special celebrations, this is when we would eat pozole. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, I think you ruined the meal. What, the human sacrifice? Yeah. Well, we're not eating human here today. <laughs> Good grief. What do they do with the heart? They would, it's a sacrifice. I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. No, no, that's a good question. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't include the heart in the meal, so. No, it was just the flesh, I think, that, that they were using there. I don't know. So the heart, I don't know, offered as a sacrifice. Yeah. So anyway, that's where it fully comes from. That's where it originates from. What do you guys think of that? Good stuff, huh? Maybe. 
It's creepy, yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> That's your culture, Lorraine! <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> Gracias, Mama, for su receta. Thank you, Mom, for your recipe, or helping me with the recipe here. It has a great color. There's the meat. There's the pozole. So now, do you guys know what pozole is? Yeah. It's a stew or I think a soup. We had it last you year. garnish it. Yeah, we had it every once. It's uh, like having salad and soup together. Yeah. <laughs> so you get your bowl. You get your. Uh, various other ingredients there, or, or condiments, I guess. Do we eat it? Yeah, go for it, guys. Mmm, this is actually more better now. Well, that's a radish. Remember last time? Yeah. Mmm, super bad. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember that your ancestors made these, okay. made these dishes. They were a sacred meal, and now you guys are eating it, but with pork. Yummo. How is it? Yeah, okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this type of vlog with cooking and, and uh, showing you guys, you know, a traditional Mexican meal. This is what I grew up with. My mom used to make this for my birthday or for my brother's birthday or, you know, special occasions. There's other dishes that I want to do. We want to continue to do this kind of stuff, um, but I'm not sure how, how it's going to be. So just let us know in the comment if you guys like seeing this traditional stuff. Let us know. Uh, we will continue to do this. Uh, this is a big part of our family. Meals are uh, a huge part of our family. I want to say. I so have we have. We have family. Yeah, she had a lot of beets. I want some <laughs> so um, we have a lot of family that comes over to visit us, and and um, we enjoy cooking. I, I'm not a chef at all, but we enjoy cooking. Um, a lot of the mingling that we do revolves around being around the kitchen so we love this kind of stuff so anyway um this is something that we want to pass along to our kids these are traditions that i grew up with and i want to continue to pass this along to our kids i want them to grow up and hopefully one day them cooking pozole or some other traditional mexican meal so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and we will see you guys next time <laughs> oh, you win. <laughs> you win. <laughs>